Lots of people are interested in therapy dog training, largely because they love their dog so much and get such joy out of having them that they want to share that dog with others. For most organizations, there's about four steps that you need to keep in mind to prepare yourself for therapy dog training. The first is the human end of the leash needs to be trained. You can take an in-home study course or a workshop from any of the organizations that offer a pet partner's team and that will prepare both you and your dog for an evaluation. Secondly, you need to have a health check for your dog. Most hospitals require that your dog within a year has received a full exam and health check, that they are up to date on whatever vaccines your veterinarian requires, and of course most states require the rabies vaccine. We also have to make sure that therapy dogs are free of parasites and other diseases because they will be exposed to people that may be in jeopardy or sensitive to such things. When you're ready, you're gonna take your evaluation. Keep in mind, it's not just your dog that's being evaluated, it's your skills in interfacing with the various clients in the various facilities that you're interested in visiting. As much as many people want their dog to do therapy dog work, what you do wanna consider is whether that's the right thing for your dog. Dogs that do well with this type of work are dogs that are extremely friendly and love interacting not only with you, but with strangers. They also need to be comfortable in a variety of strange environments and not be easily spooked by odd movements, loud noises, or unusual sounds. If you and your dog want to embark on being a pet partner's team, the best thing to do is to get them socialized early on when they're puppies and to continue that training so that your dog is extremely mannerly under your control at all times and is having a good time on his visits.